Holy sh! This is a guy that came up to me while I was in the middle of uh, streaming and filming a vlog and he wanted to know if he could put a tattoo on my face. And I said no. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Here in the uh, state of Georgia, and particularly Atlanta, uh, April for us has or sees t uh, temperatures that you would find at the beginning of the summertime or temperatures in Minnesota usually they climb up to about 80 in May but down here in Georgia we see uh, temperatures in the low 80s all of the leaves and plants and flowers are in full swing they usually start to see buds on the trees as early as um, February because you're going from winter type weather which you have in January to more spring like weather which starts to transition in February but in uh, April right here in Georgia people are in their tank tops and their dresses um, if you go even further in Georgia uh, like to Valdosta which is at the very tip before you go into the Florida border, say you want to go to Disney World, which I've done with family on a multitude of occasions. Uh, people open up their pools, uh, or they have them open, down in the Valdosta, Tifton area, because uh, Georgia is just, that, is just that warm. Oh, me? So what am I doing today? I'm at the uh, famous uh, Centennial Olympic Park which opened uh, in the midst of the 1996 Olympics. And this is one of my favorite places to go when the weather is great. Right now, I'm about to go um, hang by the, um, the Fountain of Rings, which I saw uh, over 20 years ago, actually 22 years ago now, on, the, uh, on NBC after I came to visit uh, or shortly after I came to visit, I saw it on TV after the Olympic Games were opened and all the, the gymnasts, like Carrie Strug and all those. But I saw my first glimpse of the Fountain of Rings on TV when it was all lit up. And I knew that if I ever came back to Atlanta, I'd have to go play in the Fountain of Rings because I, I love water. I mean, I just love interactive fountains where people can run through and get wet, especially when it's hot. Um, one of these days I'm going to have to buy myself a drone and uh, fly it through Centennial Olympic Park. I think it'd be fun to get some really good uh, aerial images or images of that ferris wheel over there and of the fountain of rings and all these other fountains that are around here uh, other times uh, i don't think i could take a blog in there but um, i would like to do a uh, blog of uh, myself at the world of coca-cola perhaps uh, going to the drink or the the soda tasting from around the world which is, I think, everybody's favorite. And I could report back of uh, what everything tastes like, including the worst 
tasting soda from Italy called uh, the Beverly. But anyway, um, I'm just going to uh, take it all in and enjoy the scenery today. So. Get too wet. get in there but when the more you do it um, the less cold it gets it's actually very refreshing anyway there's a uh, flirting show that's about to begin that fountain up there was fun and uh, I got a little more wet than anticipated um, my dress is wet and my hair is wet I decided I mean I was just putting my feet in first and then my pants got wet and then my uh, my dress got a little bit wet and I just decided hey why not so I dunked my hair in the water so the back of it is a little damp and I believe my bangs are wet but that was a lot of fun I mean I always love it um, I always enjoy the uh, Fountain of Rings uh, water show as you heard they were doing under the sea and then they did um, fly me to the mood by Frankie Sinatra and he's one of my favorite uh, jazz musicians him and uh, Louis Armstrong yeah I go old school and then uh, they played William Tell and then at the end they played uh, one of uh, Michael or Michael Jackson's Jackson 5 song I don't know what it's called give me one more chance but it was really fun. Uh, I'm sorry you missed it. They had these uh, water streams that were, um, that reached as high as maybe, I don't know, 25, 50 feet in the air, which got the attention of uh, those of us that are viewers. So, uh, what else happened? I was uh, getting down and I thought I saw a coupon. I picked it up and I realized it was somebody's uh, ticket to the CNN Center, so I had to give that back and then I played in the water for a little bit but probably going to go and walk around by the world of coke i don't know maybe buy me a ticket today but i have a weekend that's already jam-packed tomorrow i have uh, one more autism airport rehearsal tour since the one last weekend was uh, exclusively for uh, professionals and guests doing uh, the children's health care of atlanta and then uh, this weekend is a, a traditional, regular taking flight autism airport rehearsal tours. And then I'm meeting with a bunch of people to uh, set a game plan for myself. It's called The Path. I'll have to tell you about that in another video. And then Sunday I'm going to uh, the Georgia Aquarium because uh, the director of Autism Speaks and I are really good friends. and. She saw me uh, do the mosaics and also write a blog about why I support them, even though, um, uh, even though I'm not supposed to because I'm an autistic. And I just got free tickets, so I've got to go 
pick those up in the mail. I'm really excited about that. But I'm gonna go do a price check to see if I wanna do the World of Coke. If I do, I might just uh, try a bunch of um, international sodas, but if not, then I'll plan another day. But it's just so beautiful out here. Get your hand out of my cookie jar. Rawr. I'm going to be here on uh, Sunday morning, but I thought the weather was so gorgeous, I decided to walk over here. And uh, it was really pretty for um, some vlogging that I'm doing right now. But I decided to uh, wait on the World of Coke. I might uh, go to the World of Coke on Saturday for two reasons. Number one, I need to uh, pay some bills. And two, I um, noticed that it's four o'clock and the, the World of Coke closes in an hour. And the last time I did it, I spent the last hour in there right before closing time. And I would like to spend more time in there because there's just a lot of really cool artifacts and a lot of really cool displays that go beyond just drinking the sodas. Um, they have uh, historical artifacts on uh, Coca-Cola advertisements and then they have a really cool no, uh, replica of uh, the uh, robotics that uh, go into their manufacturing. And I just like to do that. Uh, I don't think I can afford to get any pictures with, uh, with, the, with the polar bear, but nevertheless, maybe I can get some pictures of them. But I think that's one of uh, the artists from Dragon Con over there. Here is one of the most advanced so, um, sets what do you guys think? The uh, there's a guy that just said that this penguin likes me. That's a joke, of course. Um, but uh, either way, I think that's it for today's vlog. But um, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, be sure to uh, share this on your social media. You can always um, find me on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Instagram, where I post photos and preview of pre preview or previews of uh, or precursors of what you can expect in my vlogs. Um, also be sure to share these with anybody in the autistic community, whether you're a professor, a teacher, researcher, whoever you are. Uh, because uh, the idea is to uh, include autism acceptance and ex autism awareness, but I'm about to get up now, so bye. I was uh, passing through the Omni Hotels to get some ice cream and uh, it turns out that this is National Peach Cobbler Day and Georgia is the peach day. Um, here we go. Happy National Peach Day. Happy spring everybody. See you later.